Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and unfortunately I've managed to get myself lost, but not to fear, because with Daisy Update 1.19, we have some really cool map options that you can configure for your private community server on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and you can even have it so it's incredibly easy, where all you have to do is on PC just press M, and it will bring up a map. And the map will show you exactly where you are and where you're facing. And as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we've got our facing here. And we've got which grid sector we're in too. But for you hardcore enthusiasts out there, don't worry. This is fully configurable. Because you, if, you if you have a look at my inventory, you'll see the only thing I've got the compass. I don't even need to have that. I haven't even got the um, tourist map or the GPS receiver. So how do you configure this and what options do you have? Well... What you want to do is you want to go to the web interface for your server, go into the missions file, so PS missions for PlayStation, XB missions for Xbox, just missions for PC, go into the map that you're working on, so Chernerus Plus or Enoch for Livonia, and then you want to find the cfggameplay.json file, and you want to download that, make a copy, and then you want to open the copy in your uh, text editor of choice say notepad plus plus and we keep the original just in case we've made a mistake and we can re-upload that one now once you've opened that up you'll see something like this and scroll down to the bottom and this is where you get the map data options now the vanilla settings are that in order to be able to bring up the information about where you are on the map um, and your grid coordinates um, the, the vanilla settings are you must find the tourist map, you must find the GPS receiver, um, and find the compass. And what that will then tell you is um, wh what your grid coordinates are on the map. It doesn't display your player position though. It doesn't have that little red circle. So you've got to have those three things. If you just have the map and the GPS receiver, I think that, that just shows you your grid possession. And then if you have the compass, it gives the heading that you, you're looking in as well. So that's quite good. Now, what you could do, though, is if that was too easy and you were like, actually, no, I don't want people to be able to find this sort of thing. I want them to be able to find the GPS receiver. And for that, them, for that to give them their um, coordinates, you could change the display nav info to zero. And then you wouldn't get anything at all. So that would be kind of your hardcore uh, solution. I guess you could remove the GPS receiver from your types.xml as well if you wanted to. However, if you want to go for like the super easy option, like I have, you change all the settings to one. So if we change ignore map ownership to one, in other words, yes, it means that you don't have to find the tourist map to bring the map up. And then if you set ignore nav items ownership to one, it means you don't have to have the compass or the GPS receiver. And then if you set display player position for, to one, that red dot um, appears with the direction you're facing in. So, you know, I'm not recommending you do that for maybe a normal or a hardcore server, obviously. But especially if your server is built around attracting new players to the game, beginners, having a map really, really helps because... If you think back to how when you started at Daisy, how frustrating it was. You'd spawn in and you'd be somewhere nondescript on Livonia or Chernerus. You know, you couldn't see any towns or villages or street signs or anything. And you'd be like, oh, where do I go? And you get lost, you starve to death. You think, well, that was a bit pants. If you could have hit M to bring up the map or whatever it will be on con uh, controller when, uh, when the uh, full release comes out. You could have said, okay, I need to head in this direction, and you could have toddled off, learn to survive, then obviously move to something like a, a a more hardcore version when you are ready. So this is really cool, um, and what you would do is once you're happy with the setting you've got, you'd want to save that, and then re-upload it over the top of your existing CFG gameplay.json, um, restart your server, and then you will be ready to go, and you can see, in this case, exactly where I am. Okay, so hopefully that this video has been useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.